Namaskar, today we have Yuri with us. She is originally from Japan and now lives in Copenhagen and she has travelled to India for a week or so. Today we will learn about her journey and her travel stories. Hi Yuri. Hi Pooja. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. When did you travel to India? Uh, I travelled in 2018. It okay. was five years ago. What initially sparked your interest in traveling to India? Uh, first of all, I love traveling because I get to meet new cultures, new lifestyle and lots of new things. Uh, and I found India was full of new things to me. So I decided to visit India. Yeah. Did you travel alone there? Uh, no, I traveled with a friend of mine. Okay. And where did you go? Uh, we took a plane from Japan to New Delhi and stayed three to four nights in New Delhi. We also took a day trip to Agra. Okay, so you to, saw Taj Mahal? Yes, to visit Taj Mahal. Yeah, exactly. And we also visited Rishikesh, mm -hmm. yeah, northern place. Yeah. And after that, we went to Nepal. So okay. we spent another week in Nepal. How did you like New Delhi? New Delhi. <laughs> yeah, I like the city, but uh, I had a also problem. Yeah, I had a food poisoning from oh. the street food. Okay, yeah, it <laughs> so, could happen. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked the exploring the city, but I also had a better experience yeah. <laughs> from the street food. And how was Agra? Ah, Agra, I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Taj Mahal was beautiful. And we rent a sari, so the sari, the traditional sari, sari. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you wore that to travel to. Yeah, we we rent the sari. Ah, okay. Yeah. So I was wearing the like light blue sari, and oh. my friend was wearing red sari. Wow. Yeah, and that was really fun. Yeah. So you like Indian dresses? Yeah, I really like it. Okay. And every time we try to take picture of ourselves, like <laughs> many Indian peoples come to see, mm. they come to yeah us and then ask me to take picture together. Okay. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it happens a lot to foreigners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I thought they were really friendly. Yeah. yeah. Did you have any uh, like bad experiences with people taking pictures? Was uh, it okay? Yeah, that was okay. But mm. I've heard about the flood. Like people try to like get money from the foreigners oh, or yeah. yeah. So we were very yeah uh, okay. careful about it. So okay. we didn't have any bad experience about it. Okay, so you did your research beforehand. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it also happens uh, in Europe. Let's say Parag, mm. because when we went to Parag, it also happened to us. Some kind of oh really small yeah 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 yeah. But tourist yeah. places, yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Of, yeah. <laughs> but I've, yeah, I've looked up a lot of blogs. Okay. And then people, yeah, explained about like how they are trying to. Oh, yeah. So you were prepared. Yeah, <laughs> I've prepared. Did your perspective of India change after you traveled there? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think the pers perspective of India that I had before was only about New Delhi, but uh, I traveled to New Delhi, Agra and Rishikesh. So I thought people and culture, everything in Rishikesh and New Delhi is completely different. So my perspective of India was like that people are busy and like no rules. <laughs> yeah, but the uh, Rishikesh was completely different, like beautiful natures and calm people, spiritual places. So yeah, I had only perspective on New Delhi, I realized. Okay. What is popular belief in Japan about India? Uh, belief. Like what people think of, about India in Japan, oh. in general. Mm. I think most people think India as the biggest population country. And when I visited India, I saw a lot of people in the street, like in the, even in the narrow street or at the 
balcony at the apartment. Like every time I see everywhere, I can see these people. <laughs> that was funny and that was, yeah, that was same as my expectation. <laughs> okay. What surprised you most about India or Indian culture? Yeah, um, when I arrived at India, I was surprised at the like chaos, like about the traffic and how people are going in the street, and even the cows are working in the streets. <laughs> yeah, so that was very yeah one of the surprising things to me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we, when we try to get to the hostel from the airport, yeah, uh, yeah, when we across, when we try to across the street, yeah. yeah, there was a lot of cars, people, cars, and so many chaos. Yeah, yeah. I think um, it's not like here that mm -hmm. you press a button and then you wait <laughs> for a signal and then you cross it. No, you have to find your way. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, yeah, it could be challenging for. Yeah, that was. If you are not familiar with, with how traffic works in India. Mm -hmm. And with a big backpack. So, what was the one thing that you personally did not expect? Mm, yeah, that, mm, that could be air pollution. Maybe I didn't expect the air was that bad in <laughs> New Delhi. To be honest. Yeah, but uh, when I arrived at the New Delhi, the air was so like bad and so uh, what do you say? Like with you could smell it and also feel it. Yeah, smoke yeah. maybe. Yeah, like smoke. smoke. Yeah, smoky. Mm. Yeah, and then the I think some sands were up the air. Okay. Because of the bikes or rickshaw mm -hmm. and tuk-tuk, not tuk-tuk, rickshaw, Riksha. Riksha, yeah, and yeah, so when I blew my nose, like my, yeah, <laughs> I saw the black <laughs> <laughs> on, on the tissue, so I thought the air was not that good as I expected. Yeah, sadly it's not. <laughs> it's yeah. Delhi. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, New Delhi was... Mm. But the Rishkesh was totally different. The air was so fresh. Yes. So. I totally agree. <laughs> it's the straight I come from. Mm, yeah, you <laughs> So I'm glad yeah. you were talking good about Rishikesh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any chance to interact with locals around? Maybe mm -hmm. asking for the way or...? Yeah, I did. Yeah. How, how, how was your experience? Uh, I thought uh, they are really friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, maybe. Did they try to talk with you in English? Uh, or, yes. Okay. Or mm -hmm. sign language? Oh uh, yeah. I I think I asked them in English, and then they were like they talked in English. I think, and mm -hmm. then even like they don't speak English, like their body language or they, their smiles are nice. So okay. yeah, it wasn't trouble. Yeah. Do you remember any such interactions with locals? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I remember well in Rishkesh. Yeah, we explored the city and we found a cute chai shop. So we decided to go in there. And yeah, there was a uh, owner like he, yeah, greeted with me, yeah, mm, he greeted with his smile mm -hmm. to us. And then, yeah, we had a chai and then he said he's from Nepal. Mm -hmm. And then we were planning to visit Nepal as well. So he told us like where to go, where to eat, what to eat. And so we had a really good time, mm -hmm. even though they, like he doesn't speak perfect English, but we didn't speak perfect English too, so we, yeah, both had a really good time, I think. Mm -hmm. Did he also share some life stories, how he came mm -hmm. or something? Yeah, yeah. He said he's, yeah, yeah, he's from Nepal, but he said Rishkesh is, Rishkesh has the similar atmosphere with Nepal. Yeah, so he said he really liked Rishkesh too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, he was really welcomed mm -hmm. us. So we felt like at home. Yes. <laughs>
How did you choose Rishikesh? Uh, Rishikesh. Uh, Rishikesh is um, famous place for yoga and like uh, spiritual places, mm -hmm. and also it's known for the nature. We wanted to experience natural beauty mm -hmm. in India, so we decided to visit there. Okay. Did you get any chance to walk along the river Ganga? Or? Yes, that was amazing. Okay. Yeah, the Ganga was really beautiful and the emerald blue, green. Mm. Yeah, that was really amazing. What time did you travel? Which month? Ah, uh, that was uh, October to okay. November. November. Okay. Yeah, then it was also calm, the river. Yeah, river. that was calm and blue was so beautiful. Do you, do you have some pictures from your trip? Yes, okay. I, yeah, I took a lot of pictures of rivers and mountains. Okay. You also have mountains in uh, Japan a yes, lot? Yes, yeah, we do have you, a lot. Okay, do you come from mountain region or? Uh, me? Uh, no, I'm from the city close to ocean. Okay, so you come from beach side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like Indian food? Yes, I really like Indian foods. Um, especially, I like pani puri. Okay. Yeah, pani puri is like a rice cracker. Yes, it's uh, I think with wheat soup? flour. Ah yes, mm. and the soup inside. Yes. Yeah. So when I took a bite, it's so juicy mm. and it was really good. Yeah. Where did you try it? Uh, it was from the street food. Uh, in India when you uh, were in traveling? India. Uh, in New Delhi. In New Delhi, okay. Mm. Have you tried it somewhere else? Uh, no, no. But after the traveling, I tried the Pani Puri in Japan too. Okay. Because I really loved it. Yeah, it's, it's everyone's favorite. Mm. Oh, everyone's favorite. <laughs> yes, everyone mm. likes it. And we miss it so much mm. in here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, you can get some pani puris like uh, pre-made. Mm -hmm. You just have to fry them, ah, and you I've can also that. get um, uh, masala mm -hmm. spices for making that water thingy. Oh, cool! Yeah, so, so if you want to try, yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> have you tried uh, cooking any Indian food? Yes, actually, I love cooking Indian foods. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I love cooking spiced curry. Yeah. So I have my own recipes yeah. and I also having my pop-up event in Japan and Copenhagen as well. So okay. yeah, uh, in the event I am making my own spiced curry mm -hmm. and yeah, every month I am making different recipes and yeah. What, what kind of curries do you make? Uh, curries, uh, it's mixed Japanese and Indian style. So it's basically Indian style because I make I use a lot of spices, but also I make Japanese I use Japanese dashi like soup stock. Okay. So I'm trying to make it more Japanese style. Mm -hmm. So you use uh, Indian spices. Mm -hmm. So curries are made of uh, lentils or vegetables. How do you make those? Uh, lent uh, pulses. Ah, uh, process. Uh, yes, um, I. Mm, yeah, um, I stir oil with onions mm -hmm. and mix well and add some ginger, garlic, and tomatoes. And also, I put some spices and, yeah, and add some chickens or porks. Okay, yeah. Do you make some uh, vegetarian dishes as well? Uh, Yes, I did. Okay. I do, yeah. Uh, I use Japanese dashi. It's mm -hmm. from uh, the soup stock from fish. Okay. But the, for vegetarian, I use seaweed dash, uh, seaweed soup stock. Okay. Yeah, so that yeah everyone can have it. Okay. Do you, do you have Indian people coming to your restaurant for trying this or? Ah, yes, actually. Okay. Last time, yeah. My friend of friend, mm -hmm. he is from India came to my pop-up event okay. and yeah, he really enjoyed it. Okay. So he said he would come to the next one too. We would also like to try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Do you make some Indian food at home? Yes, I personally do. 
maybe cooking Indian food is not popular in Japan that much. So that's why also the spiced curry in restaurant is getting popular. Have you watched any Bollywood movies? Uh, yes, I have. My favorite is Three Idiots and okay. RRR. And have you watched more? Mm, actually, that's all. Mm -hmm. But I really love those two. <laughs> so. And uh, do you like Indian music or the songs that pop up in yeah. between the movie? Yeah, I think it's so funny. Mm -hmm. I think those songs and dance make it more funny and energetic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you like it. Mm. <laughs> Because if I ask my colleagues, they would be laughing. Why do you have music in the, <laughs> in every movie? Yeah, I think it's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Also, maybe because Indians, Indian people, they love dancing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Yuri, I have a small game for you. Yes. Where I have some questions, mm -hmm. and those questions are like, whether would you like to do this mm -hmm. or that in mm. India yeah. and I also have a picture of that specific thing oh. like you can see here oh, wow. so mm -hmm. you don't get confused what mm. I'm talking about sounds interesting <laughs> and uh, maybe I should just shuffle these cards yeah. and then we, you can pick and answer mm -hmm. however you like okay we can start with this one the one yes. you first picked up so would you take a boat ride through backwaters of Kerala, mm -hmm. or would you climb Tiger Hills in Darjeeling? Mm. I would rather climb the thrilling heights of Tiger Hill. Okay. Yeah, because the mountains I saw in Rishkesh was really beautiful. So mm -hmm. I want I want to see another mountains in another area in India. Yes, and these are also. Um, always snow mm. and sunrise must be beautiful yeah okay let's take another question mm. oh yeah i can take it yes you can <laughs> take it yeah <laughs> let's no. see yeah yes. from the top yeah, you decide <laughs> yeah i take this one okay oh that's a nice one yes so it is asking would you celebrate holi that is our color festival or would you try Diwali? I would rather experience the Holi. Okay. Mm -hmm. I actually experienced the Diwali in Nepal. Okay. Yeah, when I travel. Yeah, yeah it training. is similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. I, I really liked it. The, uh, I, uh, I saw many people were draw drawing the colorful pictures on their the door, entrance yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they they lit the lights, mm. candles. That was so beautiful. Uh, yeah, that was one of my best experiences. Mm -hmm. And so this time I would rather experience the holy. Okay. <laughs> yes, we can go to next one. Mm, looks good. Yes. Oh. So. Would you try all different kind of street foods or would you try a meal at fancy restaurant? Mm. The these pictures looks good, but I would rather uh, try the fancy restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like so that I can ex I can I can get inspirations from the restaurant and maybe I can add some Indian style to yes. my curry, spiced mm -hmm. curry. So you can add Indian tadka. Mm, tar uh -huh. Tadka. Like if you want to say Indian flavor, yeah. uh -huh. then okay. we say Indian tadka to something. Mm -hmm. So I want, I would like to add Indian tadka yes. to my spiced curry. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yes, let's go. So would you rather witness the majestic beauty of Taj Mahal at sunrise or the spiritual significance of Ganga River at the down in Varanasi? Oh, I would rather witness the down in Varanasi because we had to skip Varanasi oh. when we travel to India. 
So it was on your list? Ah, uh, yeah, we were planning to visit Balanasi too, but we couldn't because of the sickness. Oh, so this time, sad. yeah, next time, I'd love to witness the town in Balanasi. Amazing. Are you planning to visit India again someday? To... Uh, someday, yes, I'd love to. Yeah, I have only been to North India, mm -hmm. so I'd love to go to South India too. Yeah. I'm interested in South Indian food. Okay. Have you tried some in here or? Uh, in Japan, actually. Okay. Yeah, there was a South Indi Indian restaurant mm -hmm. close to my house. So we, I really like the South Indian food. I also like South Indian mm. food as well. Let's go to next. Yes. Okay. So would you rather take cooking classes and learn to make your favorite Indian dish? Or would you like to enjoy a traditional home-cooked meal with the local family? Oh, both sounds really good. Um, actually, uh, mm, I would rather take a cooking class. Yeah, actually, I was thinking about it. <laughs> when you were in India? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Because but yeah, also learning from a local family is really good. Mm -hmm. mm. I would rather both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you are very interested in Indian food. Mm, yeah. So this was our masala quiz. Now let's jump into similarities between Indian culture and Japanese. Did you find any similarities? Uh, yes. I think the similarity between Japanese and Indian culture is that we share the value that uh, our body is made of what we ate so I think we both really care about our health I know Japanese people live long what is secret for that oh that's a good question <laughs> um, I think the secret is like we Yeah, I think uh, in Japan we use a lot of fresh, uh, fresh ingredients like of the season oh, yeah. for dishes. Yeah, yeah. For example, in spring we have special cabbage or special onions uh, only for spring. So we use those ingredients for foods. Okay. Yeah. Then I think those foods make our health very good. Mm. Yeah. Do you use a lot of oil in your recipes or less uh, oil? Not that much, I think. I think in India, you use more oils, yeah. like to stir onions or to stir, maybe to mix with spices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we don't use oils that much. How do Japanese people look so young? Is it because of <laughs> eating a lot of seafood or...? Oh, seafood! But, uh, Indian people don't eat seafood a lot? Uh, I think fish is most popular, mm -hmm. but in the coastal region of India. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but maybe in Japan, uh, yeah, people eat a lot of seafood, like even in the inner, inner prefectures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, we love fresh, f fresh fish, like sashimi, sushi, and yeah, it could be the reason. <laughs> Is sushi Japanese or? Yeah, it's Japanese. Mm -hmm. right? Of course. Okay. And I think I have tried some vegetarian sushi. Oh, but really? It's not sushi, I would say. So it's not f raw fish? It wasn't fish. Mm. It was uh, a rice mm -hmm. outer layer and then some veggies maybe from inside. Ah, veggies. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. It mm. was good, I think. Yeah. So if someday we are traveling to Japan, are there some traditional food options for vegetarians? Uh, yes, uh, vegetarian foods are not popular in Japan that much, but uh, there are some restaurants have vegetarian menus. Even ramen restaurant have the vegetarian ramen sometimes, because ramen is basically made of the pork or chicken soup stock but for vegetarian foods 
uh, they are making another kinds of soup stock. So yeah, ramen, vegetarian ramen is one option in Japan, I think. Okay, they provide you with soup and? Yeah, it's a uh, noodle in a soup. Okay. Mm. So it resembles, does it resemble uh, tukpa in Nepalese uh, food? Tukpa, ah, tukpa, yeah, exactly, it, yeah. Okay. But the tukpa is thicker noodle, I think. Okay. But ramen is more thick, uh, thin, and yeah, thin noodle. Okay. Mm. So there is one option for yeah, vegetarians. Yeah. And another option could be rice and miso soup, which is typical dishes in in home at home. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We every meal we eat rice and miso soup, and with something like with main dish. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what does miso soup? Yeah, miso soup is. Uh, miso means fermented soybeans. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's made from soybeans. So it's for vegetarian. But sometimes we use fish soup stock for miso soup. Okay. But we can change it uh, soup stock of seaweed so that everyone can eat it. Okay. So at least there are two options for us, mm, yeah. which is good. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips for someone who is traveling to India? Uh, yes, I would recommend doing some research beforehand, like reading someone's vlog or watching someone's video. And for safety, uh, you should not go out alone at night. Yeah. Yeah. And also, if you want to try some street food, I would recommend the popular street food. Yeah, like where the po a lot of locals are trying. What's your takeaway from the Indian trip? I hope it's not only food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think a trip to India really inspired me to create a fusion between Indian and Japanese style food. And now it's my thing. And yeah, even though I haven't cooked any Indian food before, uh, after I visited India, I really was into Indian food and I started learning how to Indian foods especially during COVID mm -hmm. I, I learned the Indian recipes from book and yeah I tried many recipes at home and when I invite my friends at home and then yeah I made a spiced curry together mm -hmm. and then they really enjoyed it and they told me that yeah they told me like oh you should open your restaurant <laughs> or something mm -hmm. and I thought oh that would be interesting so that's why I started the pop-up restaurant pop-up event in okay. Tokyo oh, that's nice mm, yeah so the trip to India really yeah inspired me is it easy to get Indian spices in Japan where you live uh, it's not that easy in Japan but in Tokyo, there are some Indian grocery stores. So I sometimes go there and then get some spice, spices. Okay. So in bigger cities you can get? Yeah, exactly. I think people in India have more like open to stranger. Like they try to talk, but honestly, I was not sure if it's like good thing or bad thing. I mean, mm. yeah, my, like some bad people are trying to... Yeah. Now we need to make uh, some nice uh, faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course.